Dark Souls is a very intimidating stage for new players, and it is known that a lot of players get stuck on this stage, but it's a lot easier than you'd think. So, first off, what you need is you need to have beaten Empire of Cats Chapter 3 and unlocked Bahamut and gotten him up to at least level 20. Second, you're gonna want all of the treasures from Empire of Cats. I know treasure grinding sucks, but you really need them for the rest of the game, so you might as well get them now before this stage. And third, you need to know how this stage works. So, the boss of this stage is Crazed Cat. He's extremely, extremely powerful, but he only spawns once you hit the base. So before then, all that spawns are doges and snatches, which are extremely just weak little peons that can barely dent your forces. So what you need to do is stack as many Bahamuts as possible. And to do this, all you wanna do is occasionally send out a wall cat, and whenever you can, also send out Bahamut and upgrade your worker wall while you wait for another Bahamut to reload. So that way you have as much money as you can possibly hold. And once you get two Bahamuts, you'll notice they start pushing a little faster up to the enemy base. And once you notice your Bahamuts are getting really close to the enemy base, you start deploying everything, just start spamming everything. Because by the point the Bahamas are about to hit the base, you'll have tons of money, so you can deploy as many troops as you want. Because when you hit the base and Crazed Cat spawns, you want uh, your Bahamas to be protected by your meat shields and other attackers. So make sure to start deploying them before Bahama hits the base for sure. When Crazed Cat spawns, he's also supported by some elephants and teacher bears. And these guys are pretty annoying because they'll kill your meat shields, but they also serve as a good source of money because teacher bear has 350 range and the elephant has 400 range, while your Bahamut has 450 range. Meaning that when Bahamut is able to hit them, they'll die almost instantly and give you tons of money. The only problem is that LeBoyne and Teacher Bear hide behind Crazed Cat since Crazed Cat's more of a melee unit while they are ranged units. And one solution to this is to bring the item called Sniper the Cat. This item will every 10 seconds knock the Crazed Cat back slightly, allowing your Bahamas to get closer to Teacher Bear and LeBoyne and then kill them. So I highly recommend bringing Sniper the Cat and I do have to disclaim something, my units in this are all level 30. Now this is a big deal because when you fight the Crazed Cat, your Bahama and Valkyrie will probably only be level 20. While your normal cats can be somewhere between level 20 and 30, depending on how many normal tickets you've drawn. So as you can see, I did not bring Sniper the Cat, because a level 30 Bahamut is strong enough to just brute force his way through the stage. But if you have a level 20 Bahamut, like most of you will, bring Sniper, highly recommended, highly needed. And also, I did bring two other items, which are Speed Up and Cat Computer. These aren't mandatory, but I highly recommend them. Speed up is pretty self-explanatory, it just doubles the speed at which the battle goes, so everything is going twice as fast, so you can just finish faster and just be done with it faster. And Cat Computer is basically just an item that deploys all your cats for you as quickly as it possibly can. So, you know, when you're tapping on all your meat shields, you have to tap them, it's slow, it's boring. But the Cat Computer will just do all that for you. The only problem is that it's not very money conservative, so it will just try to deploy everything as soon as it can. So if you're running low on money, you need to turn the computer off and manually tap all your units yourself. But when you have lots of money, Cat Computer will make your life a lot easier. You won't make any mistakes when you tap, and every meat shield will be deployed as soon as it can. So I recommend Cat Computer, Speed Up, and definitely highly recommend Sniper. And as long as you have those three items, make sure to stall in the beginning to get extra money and more Bahamuts. And you make sure to turn the computer off and manually deploy once you're running low on money. You should be fine and beat this level easily. And of course, if you have any good gotcha units like Paris, Drama, Pole Vaulter, Seafarer, Pizza, and any good Ubers, this will be even easier than it already is and everything will go great. That's about it. If you have any questions or struggles with this level, please leave it in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.